best quality export settings from DaVinci Resolve for your Instagram videos in 60 seconds. Let's do it. Now guys, I'm not gonna waffle on about this. For those of you that are just looking for the tutorial, here's what you need and after that, we're gonna go through why we need to do this if you are a little bit more interested in the in-depth side of uploading to social media. So what are you gonna do once you've got your completed piece in DaVinci Resolve and you're ready to export it? You're just gonna head over to the Deliver tab. We're gonna head down to the Quality section. We're gonna switch off Automatic. We don't want Automatic and we're gonna limit it to 16,000 kilobytes per second. That's it, that is how to get the best quality out of Instagram. Now, why do we need to do it that way? When you upload to Instagram, it will naturally compress any file that you do upload to make sure it's a smaller file so that people that are using the program aren't coming across your massive 4K video files. Yes, it'll look a little bit clearer, but it doesn't really make the user experience much better from Instagram's point of view. So if we didn't do this process and render it at 16,000 kilobytes per second, what is gonna happen is Instagram is going to compress the video file itself. This is bad because basically the software that Instagram uses within the app to compress photos and videos just degrades the quality of it immensely. Essentially, if you were to upload a 4K video file and then you down resed it through Instagram to whatever they, I think it's like 620 or 640p is their output, you're just gonna get so much compression, so much loss of quality just because the software isn't as good. Whereas if you go through a proper program like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, because the compression software in that is so much better. It's so much more lossless. It doesn't just throw away data that doesn't need to throw away. It'll preserve the details it needs to preserve and give you the highest quality that you need for Instagram. So if we can stop Instagram from compressing anything, it means that you're gonna have a high quality video going through it. Is it gonna be as high quality as 4K or 1080p? No, it's never gonna be as high quality, but it is gonna stop Instagram from ruining what you do upload. That is it guys, short, sharp and sweet. Um, you might be wondering why I'm uploading such a small tutorial. Um, I got hired by a state agency to shoot their tourism piece in a place about four hours away from where I live in a different state, which was awesome, except uh, on day two that we were there, the state that I live in, Victoria, I went into lockdown and basically I found out that if I didn't head home, that day, I'd have to self-isolate for 14 days, which would have totally messed my schedule up with all my other clients and wouldn't have been fair to them. So we called off the trip and we're gonna have to reschedule it. So I was not intending to post more DaVinci Resolve tutorials for a while, but now that I'm locked at home for the next few days, I will be pumping a few out. I've got a few in the works, so I look forward to them. I'd love to know what you guys would like to see. And if you've gotten this far, I would love it, love it, if you could subscribe to the channel. Find my Instagram link below if you wanna see what I'm up to. And if you enjoy the video, guys, Chuck us a like, I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.